Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap. Brutal day for me today, minus $484. Uh, it was actually worse than that and I made a little bit up. Uh, but let's go through these and check it out. Only had one mighty 90 trade, it was pretty choppy in the morning uh, and that was in Intel. Uh, small loser, minus 56 bucks. Uh, going down, I had two trades in MNQ. The first one was a loser. Uh, the second one later in the morning was a winner, net net, uh, plus 24. And then I went on a terrible run of Zoom, loser, win, Tesla, Piton, Nikola, and Microsoft. And then later in the morning, I was able to pick up nice runners in Lulu and Neo. Uh, to get back some of that, but minus 428 on the runners. Uh, so let's take a look at this. Uh, if you're wondering why this looks a little different, this, my friends, is the new custom platform that we've been working on. So it's not quite done yet. We'll be rolling it out to members as soon as it's ready. Uh, but for now, we uh, are using it in the live stream room to kind of get the all the uh, all the bugs worked out and all the functionality up to be the best it possibly can be. So excited to start sharing this with you more and more as we go through. But let's jump into the uh, into the trades here that we took, starting with the Nasdaq. So the first one, uh, I really thought looking at the daily chart and 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 the uh, and the intraday chart here, I you know we're making higher highs. Uh, we got long about right here for our first upside runner. It started to run, actually it was right here. It started to uh, push higher and then just rolled over. Uh, so we ended up just getting out of it at that point and taking a loss. Now, later in the morning, once things really started getting weak, uh, so right when it broke down into negative territory, so it broke down into negative territory it tried another effort to stay positive. This red line is yesterday's close, so that marks kind of the unchanged mark for the day. And when it broke through again and then it bounced back up, I got short again right here and took a nice chunk out of here. So it ended up slightly positive in the NASDAQ. Uh, let's look at Zoom. Zoom was uh, one of my losers. So Zoom, uh, let's see here. So we got we got long here. This Again, this was when the market was strong. And we just, we had this kind of consolidation area here, got long here, was looking for a continuation and this thing just flushed down. So got out of that for loss. Win, uh, let's take where's win. And so win, uh, we we're in this morning as a downside runner, I had this big push lower, super weak. One of the weakest stocks on the board started to consolidate uh, be uh, between these pivots here and so we got short looking for a continuation lower and this, this, this thing just pushed us out. So once it broke above this, we just, we closed that out for loss. Uh, Tesla. Uh, Tesla made this big push higher when it started consolidating above this pivot, tried to get long here for continuation and it just pushed lower. So we got out there. Peton. Where's Peton? Okay, so Peloton. Uh, we missed a we missed a trade here that we should have caught that bounce. I was messing with Intel at the time and didn't catch it in time until it hit already bounced a little bit. Uh, but when Peloton pulled back uh, again, it was one of the strongest stocks on the board. I was looking for a continuation higher from this point here, uh, but it kind of flushed down until we got out of that one. And then uh, Nikola, 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 Nikola. So Nicolo is interesting. I mean, this thing it made this big initial push down and then it literally flatlined on this pivot. And you know, a lot of times you'll you'll get a flush lower, another push lower. We started to, we started to get this push lower, not enough to take any profits yet, and then it just started grinding, 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 grinding back up. And once it pushed through that pivot, we just got out and and took a loss there. And then my last loser was Microsoft. Uh, again, this was a, a long entry when it started to, uh, um, actually two, two trades here had this push. It was consolidating above the pivots, tried to get long, flushed us out, started to bounce up again, confirmed like it was going to be strong. So when it pulled back, 
got long again and got flushed out again. So a couple, couple losses in Microsoft. I mean, just none of this was working today. Uh, and, and I've, I've experienced days like this where things are just not working now, to be fair, I did have a couple of really nice missed opportunity trades where I was trying to get filled, just didn't get filled. They ended up being really nice winners, but, uh, all in all just could not get anything going. Ended up, uh, later in the morning, uh, walked away from my screen, came back with a fresh outlook. Uh, the market was, was really starting to get bearish. Uh, so I had, took a position in Lulu. Uh, it had it had flushed down really weak on the day, it was bouncing around uh, under this pivot about, right at about 11, yeah, it was right at about 11, right here, uh, got short and took this nice winner all the way down to the pivot for 680. And then lastly, NEO, NEO was definitely not following the rest of the market, so it continued to consolidate here above this pivot and about that same time, about 11 o'clock right here, was still holding above that pivot, got long, and this thing just kind of grinded higher, grind, grind, grind. I held, I think I got out of my last piece, like right here for nice profit of 720. So net, net down on the day, red day today. But, you know, these are, these are those days that you've got to really be able to manage your risk. You know, I didn't, I didn't make, I don't think I made any bad trades today. Uh, I, I cut my losses quickly. Uh, they just they just didn't work out, and I just and and I just got chopped up. You know, just cut my losses, cut my losses, cut my losses. Next thing you know, we've got five five losers that that happened. And and it wasn't like I loaded up all, on all these at the same time. I, I I spread out my entries. I did everything right. Today, my friends, the bad guys just flat out beat me, and that happened. So uh, it's this is one of those days where you've, you've got to, from a mindset standpoint, you've got to, you've got to just understand the risk that sometimes you will have losing days, you know, back in my early days, and I'm, I'm talking about my day trading days. And when I say that, I mean, six months ago, um, I would have probably turned a losing day into a much bigger loser losing day. And, and so, you know, the discipline of kind of walking away, getting a fresh look, kind of getting, come, coming back with a fresh perspective, looking at the charts, being able to pick up really nice winners in Neo and Lulu, uh, that, that was a big benefit to get back uh, a lot of the losses. But I also didn't do anything stupid, like just start placing trades just to place trades. And, and, you know, cause initially I came into this day or after, after being in the, in the market in the morning, I talked about this in the, in the room that, you know, the, the NASDAQ looked bullish. Uh, I thought it was going to have a bullish day. Uh, we're making higher highs, higher lows. And when, when that changed, you've got, you've got to change. So I, I got flushed out of my, my long runner in the NASDAQ. Uh, and that's, and then shortly after that, I walked away, came back. And when, when things really started to get more of a bearish tint, you've got to change your assumption. You can't just stick with your initial idea that you had going in. That is where, at least that's where I have gotten myself in trouble where I I'm kind of stubborn and I think, no, today's going to be a bullish day. I've got it. I've got to stay bullish. I've got to do this, you know? And so instead of just following price action, and I think that's what a lot of times, what, what you can do when you walk away and come back with a fresh perspective, you can just flush that bias out of your mind, take a fresh, fresh look at the charts and be like, if I didn't make any trades today and I just came in right now, what would I be, what would I be looking at? And it, and it was clearly bearish. I mean, the, yes, the, the, the other indices were, were much more bearish. Uh, the NASDAQ wasn't as bearish, but uh, it, it certainly had broke into negative territory, tried to make a push back up, broke down again. And that's when things you know, started getting a little more ugly. And so, and it just kind of funneled down to the downside the rest of the day. So, uh, you always learn more from your losers than you do from your winners. So make sure you're, you're self-aware of that. Make sure you're, you're looking at things from a, from a fresh perspective, uh, once things aren't going your way. And if, if, if that happens, you've got to readjust, you've got to recalibrate, you've got to, you've got to make those adjustments. So, uh, all in all, again, I don't, I don't think I made any bad trades. The bad guys just won and that happens. Uh, but if you guys have any questions, let me know, talk to you tomorrow. We'll, we will be streaming live tomorrow, Friday, uh, at the market open. So look forward to seeing you there.